Hi, I'm Dr. Mia Frezzo, and I'm here with our dog, Bachi, who is 10 years old, and he's going to demonstrate for you how we administer pills. I get a lot of questions in the hospital about how to administer medication to our pets, and there are some pets that uh, can be taught over time to accept administration of, of pills right down their throat, and I find that that works really well for us. Um, many people who have started to bribe their dogs with different things like deli meat or cream cheese or peanut butter can often get outsmarted and it can become exhausting for you to medicate your pet because you keep running out of things that the pet will actually cooperate with and take the medication. And so some people have been a little bit nervous to do this and I want to show you how uh, patients and lots of practice can be quite rewarding. Uh, Bachi is 10, he doesn't take any medication, but he takes lots of supplements. And so I'm gonna show you how we actually give him medication every day. Bachi is, uh, a, he has a long nose. So he's the type of dog that I can put my hand right over his whole nose to lift up his lip and to show you his teeth. And there's a little space here behind the canine tooth. And that's where I open up his mouth. Now. Um, I'm left-handed, so for some of you, you may have to reverse this, but um, I'll show you how I administer his uh, supplements by using my, my right hand to open his mouth and my left hand to administer. And sometimes he does spit a pill back out at me and we just do it again. So I take my finger behind that, behind that canine and push it right down his throat. And I give him a little rub underneath. And we do this four or five times every morning to get all of these supplements into him. Bachi takes uh, Copaiba. Sit, please. Sit, please. He takes Copaiba and frankincense, um, as well as turmeric and, um, and Cosequid. So he takes a joint supplement and Copaiba and turmeric and depending on whatever else I administer for him, but sometimes I'll make them a frankincense concoction. There we go. He's a good boy. Very good. And so it takes patience and practice. And you need to get it far back enough, way back there, that he's not going to spit it out. Now, sometimes, here we go. Here comes the turmeric. Sometimes we have to just do it again, and that's okay. Right? Good job. And then afterwards, I always give him a nice reward. I would give him a nice special treat. So he feels uh, that this was a pleasant and happy experience, okay? And overall, he's doing great for 10 years old. So I hope this helps you to feel a little bit more comfortable about how to administer some medication. And if you have any questions, you can certainly feel free to contact me uh, via email or via the phone at Animal Hospital of Hesperkites. Thank you.